that I was just learning from it. Um, I think this summer will be the, the hardest summer that I've ever worked in my life. Um, push myself and um, try to push my teammates by um, inspiring them in different ways, sending them things, sending them videos, just trying to try something different. Derek, so much was expected of this team this year. How disappointing is it that the season ends this way? Um, it's disappointing. It's definitely disappointing, but we know that um, it's over now. And um, like I said, the only thing we do now is um, make sure our families are okay and um, get back to work. Uh, I know that's my goal, to get back on the court as quick as possible. Um, but I'm gonna let my body heal a little bit more um, and really get out there at this summer. Is it hard to explain the scoring drugs this team has had? They're huge. Oh yeah, 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 it's, it's very hard, very hard. Um, there's nothing we can do about it. I mean, uh, around this time now, it's, just again looking forward to the summer and just putting a plan together so that you could get better individual. What was Tibbs' message to you guys after the game? Um, it was really short. Um, I think he's going to talk more tomorrow, so if you guys do tomorrow, I'll give you a little bit more. But his is kind of short because we're meeting tomorrow. Is there a self responsibility that? You know, so much is circulating about his future with the team as well that you guys were unable to, to get this one done. We haven't even talked about this. I know uh, with teammates and everything, we don't feed into it. I know I don't, um, or I haven't had a conversation with my, one of my teammates about um, Tibbs or the coach. I haven't had that conversation. So um, our biggest, um, biggest, biggest thing was just coming out here and just playing hard, just trying to win the game. Derek, wasn't talking about the coach. Hey, Derek, do you, sorry, Derek. Do, do you think uh, this has been a missed opportunity, though, you guys? Oh, yeah, always, always. Um, even before this year, um, you know, when you get in the playoffs, you're with these guys the entire year more than your family, and you you really have that me against the world, us against the world type of mentality, and it's always, it, it always hurt to lose these type of games. Derek, how upsetting is this for you? You guys couldn't be yes. You're upset, but uh, I think we're all upset. But like I said, it's time to um, be with our family a little bit more, um, work on our game a little bit more, and get better individually for next year. Derek, is it especially frustrating to go out to LeBron again? Um, no, I could have been anyone. Um, just frustrating to be out the playoffs, period. What is it you that held you guys back this year? Because you, know, you had the talent here, what, what stopped you guys from reaching your potential? Um, who knows? Who knows? Um, I mean, that's what was so frustrating about this whole year. Um, we had a lot of ups and downs. We tried to fight a while way through it. Um, it didn't end the way that we wanted. And when things happen like that, the only thing you could do is learn from your mistakes, learn from the past, and just try to adjust and prepare yourself for the future. Knowing, what you, knowing what you know about tips and management, do you expect him to be back next year? I don't, what you mean by that? I don't know anything about that. <laughs> you ever read all those stories? No, or, uh, what you mean? <laughs> well, a lot of people think management and tips have uh, had some issues with minutes and various things. And well, what else you say? About, what was the other question? What was uh, do you think he'll be back? I mean, do you want to see him back also? Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean, Tibbs really grew a relationship um, after um, the season last year when I was coming back to USA Basketball, um, going to go eat with him um, at least a couple of times while we were out there. He was working me out every day while we was with USA Basketball. So we definitely grew a bond. Um, and if it is a feud or whatever, um, whatever's going on, I just hope that they fix it. And um, I don't mind them as a coach. Derek, Derek, as, far as, you, as far as the roster goes, would you like to see the roster pretty much come back intact and hopefully have, you know, health? Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, I think when you have a, a team like this, it's all about um, just growing together, having your ups and downs. This definitely is a down right now, um, but it's all about just getting through it, and I know we'll bring it here one day. Derek, Derek just looking back. able to be able to play these two for you personally after what you the last few years. Yeah. Is that a positive you Oh yeah. I always look at me stepping on the floor and just me walking off the floor as a positive. And of course I would want to win every game, but um, it's different. It's the NBA. You're not going to win every game. But I'm just happy with how my body responded when I came back. Um, I'm happy with everything that I learned this year, everything that I went through individually, 
mentally, emotionally, spiritually. But uh, I'm good. I'm at peace with myself. Um, of course, mad that we, we lost this game and we're out the playoffs, but it gave me a chance to really go into this summer with a game plan. Derek, Derek, this roster has a lot of scoring power on it, but at times during the playoffs, it just went into scoring droughts. Why do you think that happened? Um, who knows? Um, I mean, they, we've been trying to figure this out the entire year, you know, having all ups and downs, um, and been trying to give you the best answers, um, <laughs> best answers possible. So um, I really don't know. Um, you look at film, like you said, like I always say, and you just try to fix it from there. But um, hopefully when we come back, we'll have a different game plan, a different um, approach to how we play each game. And we're, we gotta figure it out. Derek, 